Okay, so here's my whole collection. I'll show you some of the Canadian ones from 1888. Uh, they're always interesting to look at when they're that old. Hopefully you can see them here when I focus on in on it. There you go. So that's one of the Canadian pennies from 1888. And then this one here, someone ruined by putting a hole on it, and that's 1894. And 1908, which is in bad shape. So these coins here, even though they're far older than the American ones I collect, their value is actually pretty low. And in Canada, you know, the value of our coins just don't go up that much. There's not as many people collecting them. So on to the American ones, which actually go up in value quite a bit. I uh, get a 1944 P, of course, for Philadelphia. And that should be worth around $60. Mine's in not as good of a shape. I'm going to clean them up here with some solution in a minute. But, uh, yeah, probably only worth maybe $20 at most because of the condition. And we got a 1985P in very good shape. Uh, some of the edges are a little bit rough, though, from circulation. And they can go anywhere as up to about $2,000. A coin, this one here obviously is going to be subject to, you know, seeing how it looks under a magnifying glass, which I have here in the office as well, to take a better look at it. But here's my pride and joy. A 1937 D for Denver wheat penny and it is worth ten thousand dollars in very good shape it needs to be cleaned though like I said with the solution here later on just to get some of the grime off of it and they can go anywhere so I'm about ten thousand dollars so very good find made some money so make sure you subscribe We've got all kinds of weird pennies and, of course, here's our Newfoundland penny. If anyone knows in Newfoundland, that was one of the last provinces to join Canada. Well, I guess not now, now that we have none of it. But uh, way back, 1941, that penny there is worth around $20. And then, of course, a Britain one from 1928, that has a value of about $3. So, I mean, those kind of pennies, you know, they actually go up about the same as the Canadian ones. Here's a front shot of it. Oops, I turn it around a little bit. So, in hard shape, but they still have a hold, you know, a value, and I'll hang on to them for a while. And so here are some of the other pennies. Now, if you are collecting pennies and coins, make sure you collect the ones that are during war years or Great Depressions, like 1929. Because those years are going to increase the most, and those pennies are worth about $6. And, of course, these are Canadian uh, pennies. There's my 1918 penny, which would be World War I. And that one there, I think, is worth about $6 today. But again, collect the American ones, because the American ones hold their value the best. Okay, so here's what one million times my money looks like right here. Huge fine, really happy about it and excited. So 1937D Wheat Penny. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. There's always videos on house flipping and investing. Of course, I day trade for a living and, uh, and build companies and businesses and then sell them. So it's always stuff that's interesting. So please subscribe.